The House of the Dead 3 for the Wii short video game review. Curian from the first game is now retconned into a caring father who just wanted to save his son who was, I don't know, suffering from, you know, his eyes being just wide and his mouth being gaping open and he was bedridden. It's not like the, you know, facial stuff in this really makes a lot of sense. The, anyway, G, who I thought had died in the second game, and Dan something, he's not important, go into this massive building to try to stop some zombies and they disappear. So the Amos decide to wait for two weeks to just be entirely certain that they're you know, completely dead. And then they send in G's, you know, thus far unheard of daughter, Lisa, and the other character from the first game, Rogan. Lisa has this perpetual, you know, face of someone who's like really tough and Rogan is always looking kind of concerned and yeah they go in search for G and you know try to put a stop to the zombies this game is by far the worst of the the series although I can't comment on the fourth the basically the difficulty is the problem it's very nearly impossible and just frustratingly difficult in that, you know. So even, you know, it's possible to complete this game. I've done it, you know, a bunch of times, but each time it feels like you're never gonna get through it. It is that kind of just, you know, you almost give up just about right away. You know, the bosses and the regular zombies far too tough, take far too many bullets, there are far too many of them, they're far too quick. And it's just in general not a very enjoyable game. It does have superior graphics to the others and the zombies look sort of you know, mean and out to get you, which is kind of cool. And there are a lot of different types of zombies, including like Frankenstein and wrestler zombies. The boss enemies are not very interesting at all. The designs are the one interesting factor about them and one of them is slightly interesting in how you fight it but that's really it the story is the most nonsensical of these of this entire series again not counting forth because i have no idea although it does have sort of character development and an arc to it so that's something at least if you like this review and want a more detailed one, check below, it's there as a video response. If not, it'll be in the description box. I've reviewed other parts of this series, the links are in the description box. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.